Hi everybody and welcome to the Barn Sustainable Capsule. We found a way of producing an amazing capsule for you and the main reason is we want to reach more people with amazing coffees. So long research going into this and there are three reasons why we are starting a capsule. Uh, number one always for us is taste 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 we wanted to find a way of having a capsule that allows us to do a light roast typically a capsule is produced with a very very dark roast uh, it just extracts differently um, but in our world it's overshadowing the flavors and the terroir and uh, cleanliness and it's often uh, over roasted. Also we find that the light roasts are extremely flavorsome and darker roasts are overshadowing uh, flavors and uh, often taste ashy and burnt and we don't really like that in our cups. Um, we are working with amazing coffee farmers uh, at Origin um, practicing sustainable farm processes. We have personal relationships. I travel to most of them every year and we are working on improving qualities and by improving qualities we are slowing the farm down and we give them the chance really to pick very carefully very ripe cherries so we get like great flavors in here ripe cherries will give you more sweetness more flavor more terroir and they're just amazing for us um, with that quality that we are receiving from our farmers, we are able to give them a lot more money, oftentimes three times of fair trade pricing. And that's very important for them to build a sustainable business and to have a good life and enjoy the product as much as we do. We roast our coffees light to um, present the flavors of terroir and really to give you an idea what mococa in brazil tastes like we want the chocolate notes the toffee notes the vanilla really to be present in the cup the third and absolutely key reason for me why we started the capsule is we have a sustainable capsule now this capsule is absolutely amazing because it's being produced um, without any microplastic it's totally 100% from renewable resources. These are organic regrowing uh, wood chips in this case. And it's basically coming from nature, going back to nature, which makes it um, CO2 neutral and um, absolutely um, no waste and can go back into nature and will be decomposing over time. Also, there is no glue involved to seal the lid here on top. It's just heat um, sealed. And so everything in this capsule, the inside and outside, is 100% um, organic material, which is great. The reason why we are able to use light rose in this capsule is also to do with the processing and filling of the capsule. We found a person that designed his own machines and he is able to give us different grind settings in this capsule um, but also he's tamping uh, the, the capsule um, so that we are able to use a light roast and still get good extraction. We do recommend though to use our capsules for espresso and ristretto. So no lungo please um, but the espresso is absolutely fantastic and I would love to take you through this now. So this capsule is uh, fully Nespresso compatible. So you can use any Nespresso compatible machine. Uh, we have a Sage machine here that has a steam wand. It's an advanced model where you can produce a cappuccino or flat white as you like. But you can also use any other Nespresso compatible um, machines. So you just fill the capsule in here on the top as usual, press it down and uh, the capsule will be pierced and then we are starting the extraction process. All right, so here we can choose between ristretto and espresso. Uh, I'm gonna pull an espresso here, so let's get started. 
So we have a flow that's similar to uh, an espresso capsule and uh, we are yielding 33 grams of liquid here. I would say, I didn't time this, but probably 8 to 10 seconds with my barista clock. Um, yeah, let's try it. So I have my espresso shot here uh, with a beautiful mococa from Brazil. A coffee that we really like. It's coming from the Faf family. Uh, the Faf family is almost the center of competence in Brazil and a long-term partner of ours. Uh, we had seven or eight seasons already with them with beautiful flavors. Amazing. The Faf family is obsessed with sustainability and organic uh, growing methods. And they are involving more and more people. So it's really spreading the farms that are connected to Faf. And Mokoka is uh, actually uh, a town and a micro region um, where the Faf farm is located. So let's see what we are getting in terms of flavors. On the nose, and I really want to point that out, it's very, very clean and aromatic. And I get my first hint of toffee here on the nose. And there is like no roast flavors whatsoever. So it's like, hopefully like extremely clean in the cup. Oh. Yes, I have my chocolate notes here. With cooling, this is a little bit hot right now. Please do me a favor and let it cool a little bit. Uh, it will open up in sweetness and chocolate notes. So here, chocolate, yes, toffee notes and a vanilla finish. Really, really nice and enjoyable. Please try it black. You won't be disappointed. So our second espresso here is a low-calf varietal from a beautiful farm in Brazil called Da Terra. The Terra are our partners on the low caffeine varietals. As you know, we like our coffees to be natural in flavors, um, as pure as it gets. And that excludes decaffeinated coffees because they are processed food. Um, we were searching long enough to find two varietals that are naturally low in caffeine. One is called Laurinia and one is called uh, Aramosa. And both are grown on the Daterra farm in Brazil and they are quite rare. The plants are more than 250 years old. They're coming from the island of Bourbon, La Réunion now. And so the La Réunion is often called uh, Bourbon Pointu because it looks like a rice corn and has like two um, pointy ends. It's very, very small, very delicate, and it doesn't grow very well because caffeine is a natural um, protection shield for coffee plants against diseases and so on. And so the uh, Laurinia needs a lot of TLC, um, and uh, she's getting that at uh, Daterra. And we are really proud that uh, Daterra is taking all the efforts to, uh, to grow these beautiful coffees so we can present them to you. The caffeine content is only uh, 25%, sometimes uh, 50% of the uh, normal caffeine level in, uh, in Arabica beans. Um, so it's pretty close for us to uh, decaffeinated uh, process but uh, we have full, rich flavors here. Let's see what we get. Yeah, on the nose, I get really, really sweet spices, actually, here. Nice. Oh, yeah, nice. Well, number one is I have a really good body and a very, very silky mouthfeel. That's amazing. And I have slight notes of cherry jam coming through here. So that's super cool. It's very smooth, the cup, and uh, it has a sweet base of, uh, of toffee, I would say. Mm. So this one you can drink all day. If you're sensitive to uh, caffeine, uh, you drink a lot, um, or uh, you just want to have less caffeine for the moment. 
and um, but you don't have to compromise in flavor at all. So this is our coffee number two, the low caffeine varietal. It's rare and uh, we put it in a capsule. Thank you.